morning everyone and welcome to City Church Clan. I am so happy to see all of you here in person and online. My name is Bella and I'm your host for today. We are going to start our celebration in just a few moments with our worship team. If you are here online, please join us in our praise and worship. Make this time a special moment for you and your loved ones. And be sure to engage with us. We want to see you singing out loud with us in the comments. Yes, good moments should be shared. Please like this live video and be a blessing to your family and friends by sharing this wonderful worship experience on your Facebook page. Before we begin, please join me in this short prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for everything you have given us. And please bless the people that are online and here at church. And please guide us and lead us to the right way you taught us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you guys ready? Let's pass this time to our worship team to lead us in a powerful time of worship. Good morning, everyone. Set our eyes on the Savior 
country are gathered. He is here in the midst of us. This morning, we're going to raise a powerful praise. Are you ready? I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief. That's right. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Heaven comes to fight for me. I'm gonna sing in the middle of a storm. Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises.
This morning we just want to look and see what God has done for us. And we come, you know, the Bible says, enter his courts with thanksgiving in our hearts. Enter his courts with praise. This morning we enter with thanksgiving.
for what he's done. Church, you may be seated. Welcome, everyone. If you've just joined us, my name is Bella, and welcome to CC Church Plan. In a moment, we are going to take up this morning's tithe and offering. If you have your Bibles, let's turn over to 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 9 to 10. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wanted from the faith and pierce themselves with many griefs. Chasing after or holding on to money too tightly can ruin us. In fact, this picture used the words like harmful, destruction to describe the results of a relationship with money. God has given us resources to serve and bless others and when we adopt that thinking, it becomes easier to be open-handed with money. We need to use it to love others to build up God's kingdom and demonstrate our trust in the Lord. Every week when we gather together, we have the opportunity to ask ourselves, how am I using what God has given me? Am I close-handed or generous with His financial blessing? As we prepare to give, we encourage you to reflect on this picture words and what it means to commit your heart and your finances to the kingdom. For all of you here in church, our stewards will be passing the bucket around. Please do give generously if you wish to give online. Scan the Do It Now QR code located on the wall. If you are watching our service from your screen, just scan the QR code shown here. Or if you are watching from your mobile phone, our bank details are displayed on the screen. Take a screenshot and save these details to giving online later. Thank you again for your generosity in working with us for the glory of His Kingdom this year. There's a lot happening at our church, so let me take you to a few announcements. Our weekly Thursday prayer meetings at 8.30pm are so powerful. There have been many testimonies of answered prayers for finances, job and healing. I want to encourage you to spread the word to your family and friends. If they have a prayer need, send their request to us and we will be upholding each in prayer throughout the week and especially on Thursday. The next episode of our Bible study series from Pastor Joe will be on 18 March. If you would like to watch the entire Bible study series again, it's on our Facebook page and YouTube video playlist called Jump In or just send us a message and we will be more than happy to send you a link to all the videos. We're excited to show you the Next Step Pathway. Whether you are new to church or have been around for a while, Next Step is the easy pathway to find your fit and become part of the C3 Church family. Next Step is about knowing Jesus, finding community and discovering purpose. It's simple really. Next Step is four steps run over four weeks. Each of the four steps goes for one hour run here at church on weeks one, two, three and four every month. You can jump in and start your next step at any stage, but you need to complete weeks one, two, and three before completing week four. It might take you a while, but that's okay. Step one, you will hear our story and vision as a church and our heart for you. It is on this week that you'll have the opportunity to make C3 your home. Step two is where you will discover the fullness of life God has created you for. You will learn about following Christ and being transformed as well as why connect groups are so important as part of church life. Step three is where you will dive into your unique design. Discover your passions, abilities, personalities, and gifts. See how your design reveals your purpose in life and your best fit. Step four is going to help identify how you are called to make a difference in the marketplace, community, and church. You will learn about the opportunities available to use your God-given gifts in a team right here at C3 Church. We're looking forward to seeing you soon on the Next Step Pathway. What does God have next for you? Whether you have been in C3 for two weeks or two years, 
We are all about connecting people into the DNA of our church. Next steps is a four-week course that will school you up in the vision of our church. Get your feet firmly planted and give you a pathway to serve in church. So if you are new to church or wanting to learn a little bit more about us, make sure to sign up by scanning the QR code here or the link found in the comments. Fill out the form and we'll be in touch. Want to understand your gender identity in Christ? Come get woke in Christ with us as we enjoy a powerful the changes brought by COVID-19 have been difficult. Our lives changed overnight as everything shut down. We were forced to deal with isolation in a way we'd never experienced. Suddenly, in the midst of the darkness, God showed up like He always does. Turning fear into faith, quarantine into connecting, and downtime into precious time. Relationships were strengthened unexpectedly. And another thing changed. People all over the world, including our friends, neighbors, coworkers, and families, became more open than ever before to hearing the gospel of hope. The pandemic shook us, but it did not crush us. We shared good times and bad times virtually. We realized what is truly important in this world, each other. The church rose up to help those in need and to be the hands and feet of Jesus during this difficult time. We found out we are stronger together. As life returns to normal and things reopen, we'll never forget how important our relationships are and the value of spending time with loved ones in person. As we're able to gather again face to face, think of every person in your life, at every age and every stage. They're waiting on an invitation to church from you. Because in every way that God connects us, we are stronger together now more than ever. We will be celebrating Good Friday with Connect Group parties on 15 April. Connect Group, start planning your parties and remember to include communion too, as we all get together in our respective groups to remember the everlasting gift our Father gave all for us. Join us as we celebrate Easter together and remember that sacrifices must be made to pay the debt of sin. So Jesus paid the price once for all, for all of us. We have the victory over death and we are redeemed. Invite your friends and family to celebrate Easter and experience the joy and hope that can be found in Jesus' resurrection. We will be having water baptism on Easter day at Glen Mary Cove Clubhouse Swimming Pool in the evening at 5 p.m. I'm excited because my friends and I will be taking the big step to declare Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Please treat this as a personal invitation to join us and celebrate as we take this first step boldly declaring our faith. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Be sure to click on the like button and share this live stream to your Facebook feed. I'm sure your friends and family will be truly blessed. Come on. Take out your phones and click on the like button right now. Make sure to stay connected with us throughout the week at C3 on Facebook and Instagram. We believe God has something unique to say to you. And our hope is that you feel His love stronger today than ever before. Thanks again for being here with us today. Back to you, worship team. Thank you, Bella, and just what you said, take up your phones wherever you are, comment and like. And for those kids who are here today, there's an exciting, uh, you know, class awaits you upstairs. So head over upstairs for your Sunday school. And the rest of us turn around, wave at each other, welcome each other. You know, it's so good to see faces here this morning. And for those of you who are online, thank you for joining us. We hope that you will come one day in person so we can give you a virtual hug. 
face to face, right? So for all of us who are here, welcome once again. Yeah, I tell you what, I've, you felt the anointing, the presence of God is here. This is so important for us to repeat this. Anyway, a big hand to Bella for doing the non-stop announcement. Her father is the taskmaster. <laughs> but I tell you what, for those of you who are watching online, Maybe some of you, you are members of our church and you are unable to come for one reason or another. We pray that the presence of God and the Spirit of God will touch you. Amen. And we don't want to sound like repetitious, but take up your phone and like and share simply because this message applies to everyone. Because if you are single, this message applies to you. <laughs> You're going to get married again, yeah. And if you are double or if you are married, this message applies to you. And if you're not sure, just sit down. But I pray that you will be blessed. Now, this next weekend is Good Friday and then Easter. Alright, Good Friday is our Connect Group time. Please, please gather together in your homes, whatever it is, and celebrate Good Friday. Alright, celebrate Good Friday. And then Sunday is Easter. And if you're unable to come, watch us online. But I tell you what, being here physically, the presence of God is so dynamic on this Resurrection Sunday, it will double in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We bought you a new keyboard. How, how much was it, personal? 7,000. I cannot see from here. Six, uh, about seven thousand. <laughs> but it's a great keyboard, it's a Rollins. Look at, man, this just for you bought it. The church bought it. Yeah, give yourselves a big hand. And very soon you'll see a lot of other changes going on. Mm, it's because of your generosity. We want you to be comfortable, and we want you to enjoy serving God. 久而久之呢，我们渐渐的会再买，再买入新的东西。But this is not for you; it's for you to keep bringing your friends so that they can enjoy the presence of God.但这不只是给你，是给你邀请你的朋友来，所以他们也可以一起享受。Amen. Give the band a wonderful hand, big hand. Thank you, guys. 来给我们事情对掌声。Today I want to talk about happily ever after? Question mark. 今天我想要分享的是从此过着幸福生活？问号。because many people, they watch love movies, romance movies. How many of you love watching romance movies? I tell you, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> because I'm watching a romance movie and I'm thinking to my wife, why, why we must watch other people's romance? We <laughs> must build our romance. <laughs> Many of these uh, fictitious stories uh, end up in happily ever after. But if you're looking for happily ever after, 
in a marriage. But if you're looking for just happiness, oh, I marry her, I'll be so happy. You know, if I marry him, you know, I'll be so happy. Let me tell you, you have an enemy who knows how to make you unhappy. He knows how to press the right buttons. And when you are disappointed and when you're not happy, then what? Then what? Disappoint. Gado, gado, fight, fight, and then divorce, you know, walk away. So let me tell you number one. Marriage is a covenant. No, it's not an agreement. That's bigger than that. Only God uses the word covenant. Because God is a covenant keeping God. Amen. A covenant is a formal, solemn, binding agreement before God. It's a bit of sorry. It's a bit of a serious message, so try to smile by faith. Okay, here we go. So you a special those of you who are single guys. Both ears, pick up your ears up, listen carefully. Right. Now I have been married for 44 years. There are no perfect marriages this side of heaven. That means on earth, no perfect marriage. My wife and I do not in any way boast about our marriage. We have a lot of struggles. We are both different nationalities, but God brought us together. And we are still working on it. Oh, it's hard work, I tell you. Maybe after this message, some of you might decide, mm -mm, marriage is not for me, boy, I better remain single. Although those of you who might want to get married, <laughs> This time, do it right. So the marriage is a covenant. It's a formal, solemn, binding agreement. Malachi chapter 2 verse 10 onwards. Have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? Then why are you faithless towards one another? Profaning the covenant of the fathers. You have been unfaithful, God says. And you have married a foreign God. Foreign daughter. All right, here Malachi's team, listen carefully, is take God more serious. Don't take yourself so serious. Take God more serious. Because God is not casual with His word. He wants us to understand the unity. It says it's not God, one God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit is a different subject, but God is one God. And the unified God said to the people of Israel, You have profaned me. Now, God doesn't speak to the non Christian this way. For those of you who claim the name of Christ, God speaks specifically and He says, Guys, take me a bit more seriously, alright? How were they profaning the name of the Lord? That means dirtying the name of the Lord. Today is not considered dirty, it's, you know, irrelevant. You Christians are old-fashioned. You are always giving us don't and do's and all kinds of laws. You Christians are irre irrelevant. 
your old fashion, your old school. 那可能很人家会认为说，我们基督徒现在呢是比较没有不跟社会没有这么相关，我们比较老派。God doesn't change. 上帝不会变。He's not old school. 他不是老派的。He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. 他以前、现在和以后都不会变。Now God is not a killjoy. He doesn't want you to en- He doesn't want to kill your joy and stop you from enjoying yourself. 那上帝呢？他不是想要。God is where the joy is. 上帝就是喜悦。He is not a kill joy. 他没有夺走你的喜悦。But God spoke to the people of Israel, His covenant people, like you. 那他跟以色列人说，就像跟你们说一样。He said in Malachi two verse eleven, He said, "You have dealt treacherously." 那他在马拉基书第二章十一节说道。He says, "When you marry the daughter of a foreign god." God was getting into the subject of divorce. 那他想啊，进入这个话题，关于离婚的这个话题。Men were marrying women of another god. 他们娶了这些女女士女子为妻，别的神。Some of you might be thinking, what's wrong with that? 可能你们会觉得这有什么关系呢 ？Because marriage. 因为婚姻。It's not just a social issue, guys. 不只。Just come, say a few vows. Thousands of friends come, and then have a big party and get drunk. That's marriage. That 婚姻不只是 That's a wedding. 不只是你邀请你的朋友来一起开了一起宴席一起派对 We don't do just weddings. We do marriages. 我们做的是婚姻，不只是婚礼 So God is getting into the subject of divorce. 那他在讲到这个婚姻。And marrying unbelievers. 离婚跟呃娶这些不不同样不是信主的人。All right. So, but you say, Pastor, he's so handsome. You know, you must look at his dimples. You know, he's I can change him, Pastor. Yeah. 那你可能会说他长得很好看，然后他有酒窝，我可以改变他的。No problem, Pastor. I'm the man. I I will make her a Christian. You know, just like me. No, listen. God, His word never changes. Because there is a spiritual conflict, put it down your comments. Spiritual conflict when you marry an unbeliever. Because in in in, if you marry someone who has a different religious background, marrying a believer already you have problems. With the same religious person marrying, there are many problems. When you marry an unbeliever, there is a spiritual. There is something spiritual that will happen. And the devil knows one way to hurt you. That the enemy knows how to hurt you. In your marriage, especially your marriage. Listen, he started with Adam and Eve. 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 He started with Adam And to further the kingdom of God, he said, "You are to say marriage." 去扩展神的国度。Marriage is more than a social issue, guys. 婚姻呢，不仅仅是一个社会问题。It's a spiritual issue. 是属灵上的问题。That's why God reminded His people, "Don't profane my name." They were doing it in the house of God. 所以神呢，提醒他的人不要亵渎我的名字。Second Corinthians chapter six onward. 在哥。在第二第六节十四章开始。Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. 你们和不信的缘不相配。For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? 义和不义有什么相交呢 ？Or what fellowship has light with darkness? 光明和黑暗有什么相通 ？What accord has Christ with the devil? What portion does a believer share with an unbeliever? 信主的和不信主的有什么相干呢 ？What agreement is there the temple of God with idols? 神的殿和偶像有什么相通 ？For you are the temple of God. 因为我们是永生神的殿。Everybody say that. We are the temple of God. 我们是神的殿。Say it again. We are the temple of God. 我们是神的殿。
And God said, I will make my dwelling among you. I will walk with you. I will be your God. You will be my people. You know, I can't even say these words that I'm saying today in many other Western churches. But the word of God doesn't change according to your fashion or your style or your accent. Now, why was God speaking to the people of Israel in that tone? Because God was not answering their prayer and they said, Where is God? We go to the temple, we worship God, but God's not answering our prayer. In, in fact, a curse is working in our homes. So God was saying, you are profane me with your lifestyle, your choices. Now God takes his covenant seriously, guys. God takes it seriously because it is spiritually binding. There is a spirit involved in your marriage. Hello. When you join up with a person even though you are not perfect and she is not perfect, but when you come together in the name of the Lord, there's a spiritual atmosphere that takes place in your life. That will propel the two of you higher and higher and closer to God. I also speak to those of you who might be single here today. Please don't think that if you are single, you cannot be happy. In fact, if you are single, you can be very happy, better enjoy the happiness now. But if you're serious about getting married, then make sure it's before God. Again, there's no perfect marriage. Stella, he is the man of your life. Never, never happened. I never had a dream that Stella was to be my wife. In fact, when she first met me, she thought it was a nightmare. We are still working out, still. 44 years, we are still working out. So once you make happiness the purpose, then, when she doesn't make you happy or he doesn't make you happy, then what? When we cherry, when we divorce, there's the tearing of your soul. When she doesn't make you happy, then I'll look for a new car. Someone once said, I was looking for the ideal. Now that has become an ordeal. So I'm looking for a new deal. The purpose of marriage is always covenant first. Happiness is the result of the covenant you follow. Happiness will happen. Happiness is depending on, like the word said, happiness depending on happenings. For the marriage to be strong, it's dependent on a covenant. Amen. Amen. Okay, you're very quiet, that means either you're taking notes, enjoying, or you're sleeping. <laughs> So if you just want to be happy, Satan knows how to press the right buttons and then you are crazy and angry. But if you realize that marriage is a covenant, then happiness or not, like when you stand before the pastor, he will say in sickness or in health, for better or for worse, in happiness or in sadness, in shape or out of shape. Huh? By the way, round is a shape, so take it easy. Ball or wavy hair. 
，不管你的头发是卷呢，还是你秃头。Six pack of your belly. 你有六块腹肌，还是有？ It will happen. Let me tell you, as you go on in marriage. 这些都会发生的。Stretch marks or skin and tight skin. 你有妊娠纹还是有？ Then the children are come. The children come. 然后小孩就会来了。The children didn't ask to be born. 那小孩没有要求出生。They were minding their own business. Then you enjoy, 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 enjoy. Then children are born. That you enjoy, 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 and then the child comes. Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why did I, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is wondering why, why, why am I born? Then you fight like cat and dog. The child is <laughs> when I and my wife have arguments, disputing, have arguments, theological arguments, that have arguments, when the children walk in to our room, when the children walk in to our room, immediately conversation stops. That we will immediately shut the door because we wanted our children to not become bitter about church and about church people. You don't dare talk in front of the children about church members, pastors, leaders, whatever it is. We must disappear. 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 Children are meant to plant the seed of the image of God in this world, just like you. When you come together, God intended the kingdom to be spread through you. Now, when you have children, the kingdom is meant to spread through you, not for your selfish benefit. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. 那生孩子的目的呢，是养要养育上帝的种子，在全世界呢传播这个上帝的形象。Jesus said very clearly, "Let no man put asunder what God has joined together. Let nobody, whether your mother or your father, your in-laws, nobody put asunder what God has joined together." 那神说呢，人不可拆散神所结合的。God's covenant transcends our human reasoning. Our human reasoning is he did like that or she did like that. You came together. Your human reasoning. Will never transcend. Will never be above God's covenant. That 上帝的这个约呢是超越了人类的推理。Number two. 第二。The chain of command in marriage. 婚姻在盟约中的指挥。Covenant marriage. We're talking about covenant marriage, not just marriage. 我们在讲的是盟约的婚姻。And by the way, let me give you an open invitation. 那我现在邀请大家。For those of you who may not have got married in church, but you're legally married. Many of you may have fallen out of love. 有些人你们可能不再坠入爱河了。That's a problem with love. You fall in love, fall out of love. No, we are to grow in love. 我们是要在爱一起成长。To grow in love takes effort. 那需要努力。So I make an open invitation to all of you. 我现在邀请大家。As your pastor. 身为你的牧师。I love you. 我爱你。I love your family and your marriage. Let's say your anniversary is coming, and you and your wife talk about it, and you want to get, you know, like blessed in church. 那如果你的那个呃 anniversary 是要来的话，那你们想要被教会祝福的话 ，I give you an open invitation. You want to have it in your house. We can bless your marriage just for the romance to carry on. Just do something stupid. 那如果你想 like that. Yes, we'll come to your house. We'll have a party for any reason to have a party, guys. 或者是去你的家开派对。Renew your marriage vows. 我们再讲一次婚姻的誓约。God is a healer; He can heal. 上帝是一个医治者，他能医治。2020 was a rough year, and 2021 was a rough year, and things went wrong. 二零二零跟二零二零一年呢是不好年。但是呢，上帝可以医治一段破婚姻。Amen. So the chain of command in a covenant in marriage. That marriage 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 in So don't try to tweak and adjust what God says if you want that to be a covenant marriage. That you don't try to tweak and adjust what God says if you want that to be a covenant marriage. That you don't try to tweak and adjust what God says if you want that to be a covenant marriage. That you don't try to tweak and adjust what God says if you want that to be a coven
That's why it's Please. very important that the man, the father figure, the father figure, be a man in the house. So he. Because a lot of the marriage and the success of the marriage depends on you. See, the man is to love the woman. The woman is supposed to hold him in high esteem, respect. He pours out the love in the home the best that he can. She's, she's supposed to set the atmosphere in the That's right. That's what it says in the Bible. All right? All right, everybody, so far? Oh, now you're paying really attention. I can feel the eye, the rays coming up. Okay, listen. The man is supposed to love the wife. The wife is supposed to love or honor, respect the husband. Listen, this, this is free. This is free. 这就是免费的. Nowhere in the Bible, 在圣经里面, and I have read the Bible since 45 years now, 我读了圣经45年, nowhere does it say husband understand your wife. 他并没有说到丈夫, it is impossible. So even God never commanded you to understand your wife. He just said, love her. Just love the wife. Okay, all you guys are very... Listen. Just love her. That's all. Everything will be fine if she knows that you love her. Okay. Here is a diagram of what it's supposed to be. I made it uh, shorter and go ahead. You're so small. Uh. Why? Uh, no? Oh, you're picking out on Sunita. Okay. Can you? <laughs> so the, the head of your home is Christ. Amen. Right. As long as Christ. Is the head of your home. That's it. So whatever your argument, you take it to Christ. This is what Christ said. His word is final. Amen. End of story. No need counselor. No need psychologist. No need psychiatry. No need medication. You just go and understand what does Christ say. Amen. Is it simple enough not? Amen. Pastor Noel put it even in colors. Ah. Then comes under the, the headship of Christ, the husband. So husband, basically, you take your instructions from your wife. Uh, from <laughs> you see, that's why that's why our service is live, it's not pre recorded. So they, they could have taken out that part. Pastor Noel is sweating. That is why we are sitting here. Take his instruction from Christ. And the wife submitting to the husband. And the children will flow in the blessing. See how they are protected. Everyone is covered, guys. You're covered by Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you want to start, you want to live the Hollywood style, then you'll be in and out of marriage. It's the whole purpose. The devil literally wants to destroy mankind. The first area, marriage. Amen. Amen. Alright. First Peter chapter seven, uh, chapter three, verse seven says. 在彼得前书, says why some husbands their prayers are hindered. Prayers are hindered, you know, first Peter three. Oh, 你们的, 为什么你们, the prayers are hindered. Why some Alright, guys. We want God to answer our prayer. Boy, especially now the pandemic and everything, we want God to answer our prayer. All the men said, Amen. 
当然，我们要我们的祷告有被得到应许。So he said, if we treat our wife, which is the weaker sex, which is the weaker sex, if you don't treat her well, your prayers are hindered. 那如果你没有好好的照顾你的妻子的话，你们的祷告并得会得到阻碍。Okay, so relationships should be happening on three levels. Listen carefully. 那每个人的每一段关系呢，应该有要有三个层次。The first is the physical level. 那第一个是肉体上，肉体上。Come on, that's why we got married. We looked at each other. We liked each other. No. 所以我们才会有结婚，因为我们看到对方。You know, we we were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were attracted physically to each other. That's a good thing. We were I still have to work hard. I know I'm not there. I still have to work hard at trying to look good for my wife. 我还是非常的努力的想要让让我自己看起来很好。Because I want her to be proud, you know. 我想要让她觉以我为傲。I don't want her to walk next to a fellow. 我不想要她。So I have to work hard 44 years. I tell you, I'm really tired. So it's this. This 44 years, I, I'm very hard to work to maintain my appearance. I mean, we must make her your princess. We must treat her like a queen. She wants to go out and buy things. You know, let her go and buy things. You don't go shopping. Let her go. So if she wants to go and buy things, you don't go shopping. Let her go. So if she wants to go and buy things, you don't go shopping. Let her go. So if she wants to go and buy things, you don't go shopping. Let her go. So if she wants to go and buy things, you don't go shopping. Now, of course, our bodies cannot always be good, but my wife will always say to me. 当然，我们的身体不可能一直都这么好。但是我太太会跟我说。Don't worry too much about your looks. I've been living with this body for forty-four years. 不要太在意这个身体，因为我已经跟他一起共处了四十四年。But your character must improve. Are you? I hate it when she tells me the truth. 但是你的个性一定要进步。Your character, your integrity, Joe. That's more important. 你的个性呢，比较重要。Hate it when wife tell the truth. I'm very angry when your wife tells the truth. So the physical level, so it's the first, it's the body. Very important. Very important. The soul level, the next level. That's in the soul. That's where you click with each other. You like the things that she likes. That's that's is when you have common interests. I've done marriage counseling for 45 years. Before they get married, they must counsel, come to the pastor, get counseling. You have a program before you say I do. When you say I do, now I've given up counseling. 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 What do you like as your favorite food? You 最喜欢什么食物呢 ？Steam fish. 蒸鱼。I also like steam fish, Pastor. <laughs> it's a lie. 蒸鱼。So it's a. I've heard those things before. 这个是。So many times. What music you like? I like country and western music, but I also like country and music. Music. Name me one singer. Don't know. Bluffing all the time. That's why I've given up counseling. I've heard so many different lies, so I won't do counseling anymore. You know, to be different, to be different in style, and I like everything about you. To be different, 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 to be different But you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. Some then you are attracted to each other because of the likes and the dislikes. It's okay. 那是你是上帝创造美好的事物，所以你如果有喜欢跟不喜欢的，没关系。You know, in the early years, I tried to take my my wife out for golfing. You know, I tried to teach her lessons, give her lessons, tried to take her out for golfing. But I love golfing. I like her to be by my side. 因为我喜欢打高尔夫球，所以我以前呢会带她一起去跟我打高尔夫球。The first time she went on a golf course， 那她第一次上到这个球场上的时候 ，We call it the holes. The first three holes, she nearly had a heart attack because she couldn't take the heat, the sweat. She nearly, I had to bring her back to the clubhouse. She fainted. 
那我们玩了三场之后呢，他差一点晕倒，因为他不能抵抵抗这个热。Are you listening? Are you getting anything? It. Okay. Now the most important level is the spiritual level. That the most important level is the spiritual level. If you are not spiritually intact with each other and love God and love His Word and love His house together, that in the spiritual level, if you are not spiritually intact with each other and love God and love His Word and love His house together, that in the spiritual level, if you are not spiritually intact with each other and love God and love His Word and love His house together, And the physical part can go crazy. You can get sick. You can get old. That in the body, you can get sick. You can get old. Then when that happens, there's nothing to grab. When that happens, there's nothing to grab. But if you have God, the spiritual part is so important. When, when, when you have God, the spiritual part is so important. Amen. That's why the enemy works you in the spiritual part. So we enemy very likes to come to the spiritual part of your life. So you fight for the spiritual part of your life. Coming together. So we must fight in the spirit realm to fight against the enemy. Now, God, let's come to the part where God says in Malachi, He says He gives His feelings to the people. God says, "I hate divorce. I hate divorce," and He doesn't flinch. That in Malachi, He says He hates divorce. Now, that doesn't mean God hates the divorcee. But, 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 But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. But the act of divorce is something that God hates. God really invests in your relationship. That 上帝呢，他真的是投资你的关系。Not living together, but married. 不是同居，但是婚姻。Okay, this is what Jesus said. 耶稣说。Matthew nineteen verse seven and eight. 在马太福音。Then they said to him, Then why did Moses command one to give a certificate of divorce and to send her away? Then he said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts. God allowed you. God allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning, it was not so. 法利法利赛人说：“这样，摩西为什么吩咐给妻子休书，就可以休她呢？”耶稣说：“摩西因为你们的心硬，所以许你们休妻，但起初并不是这样。” They said Moses commanded to give a certificate of divorce. Jesus said, "No, Moses allowed divorce for society's sake." 那法利赛人说呢，摩西允许我们，但其实不是，他只是吩咐。In First Corinthians seven, and I close with this. 那在哥林多前啊后书。There are areas that allows you to have divorce. 有一些在有一些某种原因之下，你是可以离婚的。When a person abandons the family. When they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they physically leave or they abandon the covenant of relationship according to marriage, when they Those of you who are watching, if your husband is on drugs, if he steals from you, he abuses you. You have every reason to have a divorce according to scripture. 如果你们的当你们当中呢，你们另一半有在啊有毒瘾或者是有偷窃的行为的话。But in the first place, understand that God hates divorce. 但是你们要明白，上帝讨厌离婚。You can do everything you can to restore the marriage if you can restore it. Otherwise, it's permissible, unavoidable. Then you have a divorce. The Bible says that. If you can, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. If you can't, then you must carefully keep the marriage. You can listen to the message after sermon after sermon and still harden your heart. 
你还可以继续重复的听，一直听，然后你的心也是很坚定。但是上帝召你回来。Back to your covenant relationship. 回来你们盟约的这个关系。Are you willing to come under His covenant relationship? 你是否愿意回来在他的盟约下 ？Whether you're a Christian or you've been a long-time Christian or just a new Christian. 不管你是新刚刚认识主，还是认识主很久了，或者是你还没认识主。God is a rebuilder. As the team of our church is rebuilt, God can rebuild from nothing. Even though it's devastated, God is a champion rebuilder, and He'll build it beautifully. Amen. 上帝是一个重建的神，他可以修复一切。But this is what you must do. 但是你要这样做。You must submit your role to God. 你一定要把你自己的这个职责交托给上帝。Who is the one that is above you, supremely? Above you, because he has the final word. Who is the one? 谁是在那个最高的位置的？造就我们的。Are you willing to submit your hearts to God? 你是否愿意把你的心交托给主 ？Confess to God, I've hardened my heart towards you. 向上帝倾诉我对你呢 ？I repent and ask you forgiveness. 我现在向你忏悔，跟要求你的原谅。I come before you humbly and ask you, dear God, to forgive me and submit myself to you. 我虔诚地来到你的面前，把自己交托给你。Will you do that? 你愿意这么做吗 ？Maybe you are watching and you've never received Christ as your Savior. 可能你现在在观看我们，但是你没有从来没有接受过。他爱你。He is Lord. 他是主。Good Friday is just around the corner. Good Friday 就快来了。He hung three hours on the cross just for you. He hung on the cross for you. He hung on the cross for you. He hung on for you. He hung on the cross 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 for you. He hung Invite Jesus to be the Lord. 邀请耶稣来当你的主。That's the covenant relationship He wants with you. 那就是你和他的盟约。Pray with me. 跟我一起祷告。And those of you who are here, let's stand. 那些在这里的朋友，我们一起站起来。We're going to be worshiping God. 我们一起敬拜主。And you need to come back into a covenant relationship with God. 你必须来到跟他有着盟约的关系。In Jesus' name, do it. 奉耶稣之名祷告。Pray, pray with me. 跟我一起祷告。Mean it with all your heart. 要用心的祷告 Lord Jesus. 主耶稣 I thank you. 我感谢你 For dying in my place. 为了我而死去 Two thousand years ago. 两千年前 Your death still is the most important thing. 你的离去还是非常重要 Because on the cross. 因为在十字架上 You took my sin. 你拿走我的罪 You took my judgment and gave me forgiveness. 原和原谅我。I receive you now. 我现在接受你。As my Lord and Savior. 成为我的救和救主。Dear Lord. 主。I humble myself before you. 我来到你的面前。I want to be your covenant child. 我想要跟你成为你盟约的孩子。Soften my hardened heart. 请。As I yield myself to you, when I come to your presence, in Jesus' name, 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 in Jesus
it's won Even death is dead and done His life is overcome Oh, me Say the name above all names Over every broken place He has risen from the grave What he's done
thank you for coming and joining us this Sunday. Come again next Sunday, same time, same place. For those of you who are still following us online, we'd love to see you here. You know, we'll welcome you with open arms. You know, it's Easter Sunday. Let's come and celebrate Resurrection Day. Hallelujah. Thank you once again. See you on Friday for Good, good Friday service online or face to face, wherever you are. <laughs> and see you again on Sunday. God bless you.